The last 30 years have been magical. As soon as you step on this campus, the energy and the excitement to be back is sort of just contagious. The classes are good and the teachers are great, but it's just who the people are. They're the best people I've ever met and it's been true since I was 10. It's an awesome blend of guiding teachers, working with willing creative artists to make really an amazing collaborative piece of art by the end of five weeks. You can't really get like this kind of experience in a school. It's a different atmosphere and it, it helps kids prosper because you can see different things come out when you're teaching them math or history versus when you're teaching them how to express themselves in every single art form. I've seen other programs and they just don't feel as connected. You don't do this for you know material value. You do it because you love it and you love people. It's amazing. Like I think everyone should have this experience. I had the opportunity to start Summer Arts in 1989. That was the first summer. So I came on campus in the fall of 88 and taught at Derby. And the first year of Summer Arts, it was a big experiment. I just remember the heat and um, the bugs in the first year because you couldn't keep the doors open or the mosquitoes would come in. The facilities were very different. We didn't have a theater. Our plays were in a little meeting hall in Sarah Derby Hall and we had to put up the stage every year in order to do them. There was no air conditioning in any building. We had about 80 children from all over, not just from Hingham, but Boston, Hingham, Cohasset, Duxbury, Hanover. And it's remained that way where we've had um, children from many, many different communities coming together in the summer. And so it's a different experience for all of them. I've been a part of the Derby Summer Arts family since the summer of 2003, so 16 summers. This is my 13th summer. I'm a counselor now, so I teach a few different classes, but I started as a camper at 10. My best friends to this day are my Derby friends. We're still in touch. We hang out every time we're all in town. Everyone's included. Everyone fits in. There's something for everyone, and you can respect everyone's talents, and it's just the most special place because of the people that go here and what Thalia and Susan have created as the environment they bought for the camp. And they create this environment of everyone fitting in. You know, a body is only as good as its head. And Thalia McMillian and Susan Ploss, they don't rethink the wheel. If it works, and it's been working since the beginning, and I don't really believe too much has changed, the longevity and the success. I think, you know, <laughs> Thalia says, we always say yes at Derby. Well, yes we do. <laughs> you know, sometimes we might do, mm, yes. You know, but that's in the children feel happy and free, and they know that everybody at Derby is there to create together and have fun together, learn together, and to make new friends. Because every year you make new friends. People have been here since the beginning, and it's crazy. That's amazing. You know that there's generations of people that have come here. A lot of the families, if you talk to the kids that go to the camp now, they'll be like, oh, my parents went here. And you can see that this is the start of something that's going to be passed down for a very long time. And you have staff members working here that have been here for over 30 years. I've watched students go from a camper to a CIT to go out into the industry and to prevail and to conquer. The key to why it's been so fun over all the years is the staff. The artistic staff are loving and talented and they enjoy being with children and the whole intergenerational atmosphere has been great. The staff is incredibly knowledgeable and excited to be here. I think that's something that translates to the kids too. They see like how can my art influence someone else's? How can we work together to create something brand new? It's almost like going to an artist retreat because you get to work with such stellar and prolific artists, people that are doing things and make you, put you in awe. Like, wow. Well, I think it's interesting to bring together children that go to Derby, children that live in these neighborhoods but don't go to Derby, and children that live in other towns that go to both public and private schools, and a few from other countries. It, it actually makes 
the arts more interesting because you're bringing things from different cultural backgrounds in. It's exciting for people to get to know a community that they've never been in before. Some of the kids that come from the city enjoy being out in the more suburban environment and the kids that live out here that don't know anybody that doesn't live in a suburb is interesting and they stay friends all year, a lot of them do, um, and they see each other every year. And even the kids that uh, go to different schools in this area um, have the opportunity to be together all summer, um, all day, and they really bond. Derby Summer Arts is definitely one of the beacons of community theater or children's theater or creative arts. I think what it does is the arts brings people together. I always look at it like that. I believe in edutainment. That's to educate and entertain and I really believe that's what Derby Summer Arts does for the children and for the adults who are involved. I think the thing that's the same is the spirit of the camp. and It's very inclusive. Everybody is welcome. And I think there's a big acceptance that it's okay to be different at Summer Arts. Every day they can just fully immerse themselves in art in ways that they can't during the traditional school year. You could take anything from visual arts to performing arts. There are kids that are taking like mosaics classes, landscape painting. In the next breath, go to a dance class or be a part of a production. I always love the opening ceremony because we all go a little over the top just to be like, we're fun people. <laughs> and we are. It can be a little <laughs> scary for some, but the kids that really embrace it, it's wonderful to see. My favorite thing about Derby is all the exciting classes that you get to choose from and so you're always happy with what you've picked. My favorite thing about Derby is meeting new people. My favorite thing about Derby is lunchtime. My favorite thing about Derby is the kids. My favorite thing about Derby is watching all the kids have so much fun. I think that the transformation that I see the most is the relationships that they build with each other. I see amazing growth from beginning to end. It's such a safe and supportive place that kids are willing to take creative risks. You know that you have a place and the children feel good and they know that they have a place and that's so important. Not just for children, but for we adults who are, especially we creatives, who children get it, you know? You could go way out there with your creativity and be silly and they like that. And so we learn together and we create together. And that is the Derby way. By the end of it, everyone feels like I'm walking down the road and I know everybody's name. And I'm like, oh, hey, hey you, hey, how's it going? And um, it's just like a lot friendlier. And it's, it's sad to leave them because it feels like you've gotten to know these people and you know next time you see them, they're probably gonna be taller, they're probably gonna look different and talk different and they, you just hope that they don't change as a person. As a counselor at CIT, you get to watch these kids grow and discover things about themselves and become stronger artists and discover new things. It's really special. Awesome. Magical. Blue. Fantabulous. Stupendous. Super fun. Silly! Enlightening. Superb. Goofy. Great. I think I'm proud of the kinds of new art that we've created over the years and have been able to leave some of it here at school in the form of the mosaics in the Larson Hall area. So I think I'm proud of the community of people that we've built. It's a family. I just, I love Derby so much <laughs> and I will always keep these people in my life because it's such a special place.